What is up guys? Well, I am back at it. I'm back to doing stuff I love. Fishing, getting out there in the outdoors, making fishing related items. <laughs> um, well, let's see. So, between January and February, I went out about eight times and I think I caught about three fish. Uh, so, it wasn't a very productive times that I went out. So, I did film it and a lot of times I just deleted the footage, being miserable the whole time. So, I'm back at it, back to making videos, and hopefully producing some content that's watchable this time. Does your garage look like this? Got a bunch of rods on the floor, you know, possibly breaking the tips, you know, breaking all that junk. Yeah, so what I want to do, I got my little fishing area right here. Uh, lures, line, hooks, all that junk. And what I want to do is I want to put a rod rack right here and then a rod rack right here. Um, hoping, you know, I could hold most of them up, you know, while I'm gone and while I'm fishing. Um, so, you know, they don't get damaged. I saw a couple designs on Amazon that I liked and uh, most of them only held about six to eight rods and I want to see if I can make one that holds maybe 10 to 12 rods. You could always just buy it, you know, purchase it on Amazon, get it in the mail, put it up, but what's the fun in that? So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to make a rod holder and see if I can maybe improve on it and uh, let's see if we can get it done. I was waiting for my rod holders to dry because I put a second coat of stain on it and I'm honestly kind of impressed the way they came out. Uh, the stain job wasn't the best but hey I've only done it a couple times I'm just kind of impressed with myself. So this is going to be the rod end. Um, so it's going to be like this. I mean I technically I could put it either way but this is going to be like this. This is be where the rod butts are going to be coming in and then the rod tips are going to be in. So. Doesn't really matter all that much on the stain, but I kind of wanted to look a little nicer, and I wanted to coat it, so because it's going to be in the garage, and um, it does get pretty hot and pretty cold in here, and I don't want this wood to stain, so I wanted to make sure to coat it and kind of just treat it, um, so it doesn't start to warp. Um, but everything came out pretty good. Uh, uh, and I was able to do it for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Only 11. Let me see. 1, 2, 3. I guess I ended up doing a let for 11 rods. And I think that's pretty good, to be honest. For costing nothing. I had all the tools. I had the wood. All I had to do was just build it. So I might end up building another one, maybe with 12, a little longer. Um, but I think it came out pretty good. Let's go ahead and put it up. Organize the rods, see how it's gonna fit. I might have to do like bait caster, then spinning, then bait caster, maybe empty rod. So let's see how we can figure it out. Let's see how it's gonna look.
All right, there it is, guys. Well, I got it up, and I got all my rods, and I got my, my baits and lures right down here. All ready to go off the floor. I think it looks pretty good, honestly. But, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching for that. If you want uh, maybe some info on how I built those, I'll put a couple of uh, information on how I built it and what... Uh, saws that I did use and what kind of wood I used. Right now I'm gonna put a couple of clips that I where I caught some fish. I know last month and a half I didn't really catch that many fish but here are some of the ones that I did catch. Oh, oh dude that's pretty crazy. <laughs> All right I'm gonna give it a shot. All right that's a good call. All right, I'm gonna take it left. It looks, cause that one looks a little more rough. Yeah. <laughs> Getting crazy. Getting crazy. Oh man. Got a good one. Woo -hoo! Look at the size of this guy's belly. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This actually might be a quad. Nice little guy. Look at this. Butter bean. Are you kidding me? Alright, I wanna let him go back. Look at that. That might be a quad, I can't tell. All right, what a beautiful fish. All right, go back to your eggs. Go back to your... <laughs> That's a bite. Oh, my God. We're still in it. Another one. It's a little small one. I can't tell. Look at these guys. Butterballs. Alright, that's two.
20 inches. Yeah, see, so that last fish I caught was about a three and a half pound fish. It was a, a cold, rainy day. I probably shouldn't have gone out there that day, but, and I was the only fish I caught that day, so it was all worth it. It was totally fun. And you see that little dance it did when <laughs> I released it? I love it when they do that. But, uh, alrighty guys, well, thanks for watching. That's gonna be it for this video. I, uh, I got another video coming up pretty soon, so keep an eye out. And I'm going to be doing another giveaway very soon. So keep an eye out. Alrighty, guys. I'll see ya.